Hi, this is Scott Kintz with Pathway Solutions, and I'm going to show you some of the basic configurations for setting up your site. Once you're logged into your site, you're going to see your preview mode up here or your control panel up here, and then you're going to also see an extra button over here on the right called Admin. What we're going to do is go to the site settings, and that's going to bring us to this page for the site settings. And we're going to go through some of the details of the site settings here. Under the site details page, you have your title, your description, and your keywords. Those are all used for search engine optimization on certain search engines. We can go into more depth on that on future trainings. <clears throat> you can also click on the question mark here to get an explanation as to what each of these items are. Your copyright information will go at the bottom of your page. And you don't have to worry about the GUID, that's automatically created for you. You can expand and collapse each of these sections so it's easier to manage. Site marketing is out of the scope of this training right now, so we're not going to touch on that at all. The appearance of your site. This is where you're going to have your logo displayed. And we're going to go more in depth on the file manager, but it's going to you're going to have to load up a logo and tell it where it's located. Most of the time it'll be located in your root folder. In there it'll list all the image items that you have. Ours is called logo.gif and so that's what we've selected. You can also upload a new file from your hard drive by clicking on this button here. And then it'll give you a browse button and you can browse to where it is on your hard drive and find it. We're going to cancel that right now. Your body background. If you have a background that's going to show in the background of under the text of each of your pages this is where you would find it. It could be a design, typically it's a, a tiled design that goes in the background there. We don't have any displayed on this. We're using a, a customized skin on our site so the portal skin, the portal container, the admin skin, and the admin container are all listed as pathway and we're using a single pane rather than the three-way pane that all has the left container and right side to it. We're just using a single con pane container. If you have a skin that you've purchased or had customized for you, it would be uploaded using these two buttons, the upload skin and the upload container. At the level that we're teaching right now, these are not going to be a concern. What will be a concern is if you do want to change the look of your site then you would select something from these drop down menus here. Under the advanced settings, you're going to have your security settings. User registration should probably be set to private or none. Splash page. A splash page is under the site, typically, it has like a flash intro to it. Most people are going to just have their home page as the first default page that you come to when you open up your site. And if you have a specific page for login or user page after a user is logged in, then you would select it from your pages loaded here. But that comes after you've created your, your um, site structure. Payment settings, if you have a payment gateway, then this is where you are setting it, would be setting it up. But we're not going to cover that at this, this stage of the game. Usability settings, inline editor enabled. That means that you'll be able to edit your text inline. Control panel, I, I prefer to set it to the edit mode rather than the view mode. That means that it will default to this mode here when you bring in your, when you log in as administrator. Control panel visibility. We want to have the control panel maximized. 
That again is referring to this control panel up here at the top. And that will be maximized rather than minimized. Control panel secure. And we're going to go to module editors. And this depends upon whether you're configuring your page for content with page editor or whether you're looking at module editors. The other settings will select who the administrator is, which of your registered users is the administrator, your default language, and your time zone. And we also have a style sheet editor here, but most people are not going to be messing with that at all. And then to take effect of any changes that you've made, you'll want to click the update button. This is a quick overview of the page settings under the administrator section.